yesterday or the day before yesterday, whatever it was when I had my little meltdown. I think it was what happened was the width of this section here was over an inch shorter or narrower than the width of this section back here. That section and that section were not 32 inches, they were 31 and a quarter. And then this right here wasn't very square. So what I'm gonna do is I am gonna cut this section right here and we are gonna move these things out to the right width. And that should square things up enough for when we install it on the bus. I'm not happy about it, but it'll work. So let's do that. Okay, so this next thing we need to do here is this has to be 93. That right there makes it 93 and 3 quarters. Man, it does not smell like teen spirit out here. It smells like mosquito spray. Big time. It's like the mosquito version of Agent Orange. Oh wait, that was a defoliant. Yeah. It's a mosquito version of a nerve gas. <laughs> These are fancy scribe that we finally found. <laughs> the mystery of the missing scribe solved. Okay, loud noises. Well, that looks very nice, my honey. Yeah, I think it'll do it. So the nice little band-aid. No one will ever even know it's there. Probably not, actually. But you guys. When we mount it up there, if it's not square, then the wood we put on here isn't going to match up and then we're gonna have a whole bunch of problems with meeting the seams and stuff where the supports are gonna be where we're gonna screw this down in. We'll measure it out where it's good and square. I will cut two supports and put them in the corner across there, holding this thing square. If we put a diagonal in, then it can't move again. 18 inches. Look at that line. There you go. You know, I think I just want a pair of welding gloves to be my kitchen oven mitts. They're pretty good. experiment. You get an A plus on this one, baby. Oh my God, look at that thing. Right? It's impressive. Can I see that in there? It's like practically sewage. I like how your gloves and your tape measure and your hearing protection <laughs> is all color coordinated. And I know that was no accident. We'll tack these into position.
Yeah, we can get a little clipper black on the floor over there. Top of the table. Alright, so this is now square, square, square. So we're square. Well, that's some good news right there. Steel frame square pants, steel frame square pants. Hey, that'd be a good idea. What? Why don't we grab that piece of plywood and set it down on this piece of metal and right see now. how it looks? Yeah. Okay. Pushers on. Ow! See? <laughs> it's hot. And this side is not square. Seems like these pieces of metal are kind of bowing a little bit inwards. In yeah. both, oh, on they both could these two be. sides. So maybe once we get the other pieces in, it's going to straighten it up. I tried on this corner and this corner. Every single one of them. Like, how can that possibly be? Unless they're bowing in, like you said. That's what I'm saying. Every single one of them. All they right. can't, like, all four of them can't be less well, than square. Our... You know what I mean? Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> it can't be. The metal has to be bowing. exactly right. The cuts are exactly right. And then I weld them and they're a half inch short. How do I lose a half inch in a weld? And we just waste an entire piece of metal so now we're totally short. I'm done. done for you. <laughs> I just didn't realize when I got all excited and promised, you know, in your big four days off, that there would be some real progress. Not realizing that my high school reunion also falls within that four days. Now we're running into these like little roadblocks, but so I mean, it's going to hold us good. This is where it's going to be. There's no supports out there like it will be on the bus. Well, it's sounding more treacherous by the minute. I'm out of here. The sun is shining right, up on the rooftop. It's totally going to be strong enough. Just got to straighten that sucker out. Lame, 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 lame. Hop on the bus, Gus. You don't need to discuss much. So, we're in my hometown for my 30 year high school reunion. And we're up to some serious antics. This is our main street. This is the main street of the town I grew up in with the courthouse at the end of the street. Isn't it so cute? We used to cruise Maine, like bumper to bumper traffic when I was in high school. So what we're doing is a selfie scavenger hunt all around town and all the places we used to go when I was a teenager. And we all hung out in my crazy high school days. So this is my scavenger hunt. We're winning! Here's another pastime from my hometown. You knew that sound, didn't you? And here's another one. That's so cool. Oh, it looks awesome from there. Oh my one. gosh, that is, that is like a winning photo right there. I know, there. it's so good. And look at my shadow. What? That is <laughs> sick, cool. baby. Look at my shadow on that one too! Oh, that's so good! Oh, it's a good shot. There's no faking that. I did my own stunts. Oh my god. What? We're missing a little chip. I pulled out the other one. Oh, it was stuck in the bottom of this. It just fell on the floor a second ago. 
Oh yeah, I see. Good job. So, the selfie scavenger hunt was the most fun ever, and here's where we're going now. I'm ready. To party with my classmates, I need to put my window up. I don't know any of them. You will now. They're all gonna wanna dance with me and I don't know how to dance. Echo, stop recording. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. <laughs> Chad, he's on our You guys have all this professional stuff. That's awesome. Oh, and yeah. you know how to use it. No, he does. Oh. I just pretend. Hi, you bitch. Well, we'll see y'all in 10 years. <laughs> Those of you who have been watching your uh, watching your sugar levels and your uh, yeah. cholesterol. Your A1C. <laughs> That's right. Your PSA. That's your, right. Your days are numbered. But we're praying we'll, for We're definitely going to see you in 10 years, obviously. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a better preacher than a parishioner. I may have talked a big game in our last video about Mike having four days off because we had to spend most of one of those days running errands in Tucson. And then also my class reunion fell during that four days. So now <laughs> we're down to the last day. I wish I could have foreseen all these problems that we're having right now, but I just thought it was just gonna, I was gonna weld a, you know four squares and, and put some bracing in, it was gonna be simple. And it just wasn't that. I'm not gonna let it stop us, but it's definitely making this longer and harder. So let me show you what I'm dealing with right now and what we're about to fix. This right here. I kind of thought it was a little bit bowed when I started, but then after uh, after we put this on on um, piece of wood on here and saw it, I, it just became like really apparent. I will show you what did that. That did that. I don't know if it did it after I put it on there and when it cooled, it it contracted and caused it to bend or what at this point it just needs to be fixed let's move forward here I think we have a good plan well that was actually very interesting as soon as it got through the metal there was an obvious like um, pop and the kerf on this blade is probably a sixteenth and we're looking at 3 16 of an inch of a hole that was left when it popped and spread because this was bent or bowed. We'll probably get the same result on here. This will probably straighten out. I wouldn't say significantly, but it will probably straighten out. Okay, same thing on this one. The curve of this blade is like a Barely a sixteenth of an inch of that. And look at the space that's in here now. So just by cutting that, it released the tension. Okay, so now. I'm trying to widen that gap a little bit. Okay. 
All right. So we have the tiniest bow down now, which is okay. Because we can fix that. Yeah, we can suck that in. I can feel my body cold against the concrete, but I can't seem to get enough. My mind is fixed on what it wants. I just let you beat me. Look at me deceiving. Let you get the best of me. In bed with my worst enemy. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. This is a no go. I just can take cold. This is a danger zone. Back up and get me home. So put your hand in mine. Follow me. Let me waste your time. Set up the do some stupid shit. Take a seat. Let me waste your time. So be top of time.
Mike's Pink Top. Yeah, we need to get it out of here now. I could have died. I could have died carrying that. 